And we're back, literally two seconds from where I left you. We haven't gone anywhere, and nothing has changed. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> Maybe we will reach Valthum Tower soon. Hopefully there are not a whole bunch of slaughterfish in here that I will have to deal with, because it's annoying. I wish there was a way you could fight uh, certain enemies while in the water, you know. Dead mud crab. Well, there should be slaughterfish here. There's slaughterfish eggs. Oh, yep, slaughterfish. Hmm. Seems Lydia is unwilling or unable to join us here. More slaughterfish. Is Lydia fighting something over here? Or? Oh, no, it's just a slaughterfish, of course. Okay, let's see here. You know, I really like the slaughterfish, as far as uh, fish go, because slaughterfish are actually based off of a fish in our area. The American Alligator Gar. Yeah. And the Alligator Gar is a very peaceful and good fish. Granted, many people don't like them because they are known for, you know, eating other fish and biting on hooks and stuff that weren't meant to catch Gar. And, you know, that, that kind of gives them a bad rap and everything, but I, I, I like them. You know, they're, they're fun fish to, to catch, and they got a bony mouth, which means it's, it's kind of hard for, you know, them to feel a hook and everything. And they give you a decent fight when you're bringing them in. Not like a bass or brim, where sure, they'll run a little bit, but this fish is heavy. It's actually hard to drag one in. I think the main reason they don't like them is just because of how hard it is to set a hook in their mouth. I, I, on the other hand, think that that's a challenge. Okay, so these are the shit swizzlers who happen to have incurred a bounty. to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. Huh. Tough talk <laughs> for someone who's about to have their guts spilled. You know, I think intimidate should be less based on skill and more based on um, how high your armor and weapon rating is compared to others because Honestly, these people are chumps. Okay, yeah, no. Okay, so that didn't go too well. There we go. Trap untriggered. Okay, petty soul gems. Yeah, you know, I wish that there was easier ways to get a hold of black soul gems. Because Grand Soul Gems require you to hunt giants and mammoths and shit. Lydia, why do you insist on charging past me with reckless abandon like some kind of brainless imbecile? Yeah, hit him from behind while I take the bandit chief. There. Okay. An Imperial Bow. Nah, he's got shit nothing. An Orcish Greatsword. Aha! Uh -huh. Steel Horned Helmet. Finally, I have a helmet for you, Lydia. Uh, let's go up there and uh, show that would-be archer what for. 
He, he's, he's an archer, after all. He, he's not going to be much of a challenge. Wow. Just, wow. So now we can continue and go kill off literally the rest of the bandits further down. Ooh, potion of healing. Cheese. Gotta love that cheese. Uh, I'll take the garlic for cooking and uh, potion brewing purposes. Ooh, what's this? Huh. Ooh, wait. Banded iron shield. That's better than the standard. Let's see. Banded Iron Shield is way better than Iron Shield. So, yeah. Okay. Let's go wipe these sniveling little shits out, shall we? Ah! Ah. Sniveling shit found. Uh, let's see what I got. You're the one who's retreating. Yeah, okay, there you go. Okay. So, he's dead. And I think that's the last of the enemies. Hmm. Mining some iron. Reminds me, I should probably stow what remains of my Imperial armor back at uh, Mirwatz the next time we stop by. I'm having some nice steel here, anyway. And then I should probably get a hold of steel and smith all of my armor up to a better standard. Oh, hit the tilt key. Uh, maybe I should find a way to just unbind the tilt key. Because I, I don't like the console opening up every time I accidentally hit the escape, uh, the tilde key instead of the escape button. Let me see here. Oh, mm. oh. that's a good, uh, good headdress. Yep. Yep. Ah, and some nice archery increases. That's good. Uh, anything else? I oop. Ow. Fell down. Let's see here. What do we have here? Ah! Hunting bow of chills. Ooh. Shame I couldn't smith this. Mm. You know something? Um... So someone in the comments sh should speak up on this. Are orcish weapons really an upgrade from dwarven? I mean, really, dwarven is just an all-around great armor. I mean, you smith that shit up enough, and you will have everything you could possibly need. So, I, I really am on the fence here, as to whether or not orcish and dwarven stuff is... It, or rather, orcish stuff is really worth the expense it would take to, um, you know, make it. Because, you know, in case anyone was unaware, orcicalcum is not exactly an extremely common material. Whereas, after a few dwarven excursions into their cities, Dw Dwemer metal will be almost ludicrously common. So, it, it really comes down to the question of, is it worth it? And, personally, from my past experiences in this game, which are numerous... Uh, I would say no. 
no, it probably... Ah! Here's one of our Creation Club creatures! It's a Bone Wolf! Yes. That's not safe for work at all, now is it? <laughs> okay, let's kill this Necromancer up here by the stone. Yeah, yeah, Necromancer. Pine Thrush, Resist Magic, and Necromantic Robes. Interesting. <sighs> well, we found the Ritual Stone, which will actually be very useful to us later when it comes to the acquisition of the Ebony Blade. Yep. Ebony Blade. To anyone who does not know, the Ebony Blade is a um, weapon that appeared in an Elder Scrolls Arena game previously, and is supposedly the weapon of choice for Nemira, the Daedric Prince of Betrayal. What? What? What the shit? No sign of him. Hello there, fellow traveler. One itinerant minstrel and wandering wastrel at your service. Ah. Oh. Well, hello, Talskar. Don't mind me, I'm just here to take advantage of your imperpetuity. <laughs> now, back to White Run to collect our bounty from. That blasted idiot who works for the Jarl. You know, I wish there was an option where after you finish the whole Civil, Civil War quest and the battle for Whiterun is over and everything, you basically could just take over everything. And I mean literally everything. Like drive out the Stormcloaks and the Empire, kill the Thalmor en masse, uh, just, just get rid of all these, these fuckers who have done nothing but ruin Skyrim for you since the moment you got here. I mean, just literally destroy them all and make it your own world, you know? A world where the Greybeards are considered sacred, the, uh, where the blades are a protected group, you know, and are in charge of fighting off any uh, dragons that have yet to bend to your will. Uh, you know, just just really take all those people who have pissed you off, and and just have them lined up and and killed, because Ulfric obviously he's on the right side of history on this. Um, because the only option that we can have is the option where the Thalmor are not able to fuck around with Skyrim. It, it's not so much that I consider Ulfric a, uh, a good political leader, it, it's more that if we let the Thalmor into Skyrim, they will kill us, and that may sound strangely racist, but you also must remember the Thalmor dream of returning all of Mundus Planus into um, Aetherius. They wish to destroy the boundaries between uh, you know, our world, the wor world of the Aedra, and the world of the oh, Daedra. And there are certain um, locations here in uh... Skyrim, where this can occur. In Skyrim, in fact, uh, one of these special locations that act as a paragon against 
the worlds coming back together is the throat of the world up there where you know the scar was left by the elder scrolls another was the ivory tower in um cyrodiil uh, there was one in summer in the somerset isles and uh i think there's one or two of them in black marsh and multiple in morrowind one of which being the um legendary dwarven god weapon composed of the heart of Lorcan, uh the Numidium. yeah The legendary dwarven god weapon, the Numidium. So yeah, let's let's get our gold from Servio Pelagius. I serve oh, Preventus Avenici, rather. Is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I could. Excellent. Yeah. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. In the Battle of White Run, you will be the first to die. <laughs> uh, yeah. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Yeah, yeah, enjoy my visit to Dragon's Reach. Kiss my ass, blah, blah. Okay, we're just about out of time here, so I will see you all next time. Goodbye.